Since 1.3 update we have different powers in the game and each power has its benefits. Let me show you how to use them effectively. You can see all about powers, left user interface, galactic powers tab. Here you can see also Galnet news and if you are pledged your power details I will go to galactic power standing and browse all powers one by one. And there are two kind of benefits. Let me show on my power example. I'm a Denton Petrius now. So second tab is rating. This is what you get after you are pledged to this power. So you can see rating 1, weekly bonus, 0 preparation nominations, 10 power commodity. Rating 2, 3, 4, 5. At 5 you will have 90% reduction in munition costs. In controlled exploited system 50 power commodity every half an hour, 250 preparation nominations and weekly bonus of 50 mil. And the weapon is advanced accelerator, it's a plasma, after 4 weeks aligned. You don't need to be rating 3 or all 4 weeks, all you need to do is be at rating 3 when you are 4 weeks aligned with this power. So for this to work you have to be pledged to this power. But there's even more important tab called stats. You don't have to be pledged to any power and it doesn't matter if you are pledged. This will work for everybody in same amount. And here you must pay attention to control systems. Imperial slaves legalized, 10% price reduction on imperial ships in shipyards. And you can see for all major factions also are bonuses. These are bonuses for depending on which faction owns the station. So if under Denton Patrius is a system, exploited control doesn't matter, and station is owned by a faction affiliated with Empire, you will have also this bonus, 30% increase consumption production for high value goods and 5% increase in price paid for high value goods. If station is under independent, 5% reduced price. And it works for exploited and controlled systems. But let's go to number one. I will ignore pledge because you have to be pledged for this to work and most times we can't. I will just tell you the basics. So the rating one weekly bonus as you see zero preparation nominations and power play commodities. Every half an hour easiest way to get rating is to buy power play commodities as many as you need. Just keep in mind that one commodity will be priced at 10,000, so 500 commodities, 5 million. If you have money, buy them and deliver. And you can see where and to deliver what very easily at expansion, control and preparation tabs. And each power has different, slightly different methods of earning merits. Some just require delivery of things, some require destruction of ships. One power commodity will give you one merit and destruction of ships depending in which space they are destructed will result in 0 to 30 merits. If you are in enemy territory, 30 merits for destroying enemies. If you are in your own, 0 merits for destroying NPCs and 1 merit for destroying players. And as you see trade profits in a controlled exploited system are rewarded with a voucher for 5% of the profits. And as Edmund Mahan is number one this particular week, you will have not 5% but 20% trade voucher. So after each million you sell, you'll receive 200,000 voucher which you can cash in. And usually rating 5 is the best but in this case 50% increase on rare good profits and it's all actually counting together so if you are rating 5 you will still have this 20% trade dividend as well. Weekly bonus 50 mil and once you are rating 5 you will have to do around 2.5 thousand merits every week. So see it yourself if you want to do that. For this to work you have to be pledged and you have to be at right rating current week and remember that if you want to be rating 3 you need to get 750 merits. But if you get those 750 merits now, you will still be rating 1. Rating will increase only after power play cycle is in play 
and it's updated every Thursday in the morning. Same time servers are ongoing maintenance. And then you can do nothing and you'll still be rating 3 up until next cycle is run. On Thursday morning usually. But we care more about stats tab because it works for everybody, you don't have to be pledged and if you read carefully you will learn which commodities is best to buy and which commodities is best to sell to particular power. As you see, Edmund Mahan has 20% reduction in Halloween enforcements and cargo racks, which are cheap, so not useful at all. Four times greater production consumption of agricultural goods and equipment, it's also not useful because the price for those goods are not high. And other also don't give you anything great. Let's go to Lavigny Duval. So Lavigny Duval. Fines and bounties doubled. So don't get caught in a living new dual systems. Payout for bounty claims increased by 20%. And if you are rating 5, you will get 100%, so it all is adding up 120%. Black markets are closed, security increased. Here we don't see anything useful, so let's move on Felicia Winters. Imperial Slaves Band. Consumption production of basic foods and medicine increased 3 times. 20% security level. 10% increased cost on Imperial Slaves due to political resistance of the existence. I tried to find a station under Empire faction influence and I couldn't. But if you manage to find it, it might be very profitable for your trade route. And Federation Imperial Slaves Ban, 2 times increase in consumption, production, basic food cements in 20% security level increase and all others seem similar. So also nothing so useful. Yeah, let's move to next one. Zachary Hudson. Imperial Slaves Ban, Shipyard, Stock Vulture, Eagle and Dropship. All shipyards in Zachary Hudson control systems will have those ships. 10% reduction on weapons, security level increased by 30% and if that's also affiliated with Empire, 40% security reduction, Federation 10% reduction of weapons. So actually you will have 20% reduction on weapons if that works how it's intended. Because Michael Brooks told that those all benefits are adding up. But nothing, also nothing. If you want to find trade route, you need to find something with commodity prices like increased price or discounts. Okay, Lee Young Ru production consumption high tech good is doubled. Purchase price for high tech goods is down by 10%. So it's a good place to buy high tech goods. All shipyards stock cobra, diamondback, asp, and python. Outfitting prices reduced by 15%. And what's interesting, there's a bug. You still can buy anything, even including ships, with 15% discount. So if you want to buy a ship, go and find a Lee Young Ru system and buy it. And also outfitting 15% is impressive. You don't need no community goals. Just find Lee Young Ru high tech system and go and outfit your ship there. And you can sell your full price modules you have on your ships and buy new ones for 15% cheaper. So if you sell a module worth 100 mil, you will save 15 mil. And as you see, production consumption high tech goods is doubled at Empire. Purchase price for high tech goods is down by 10%. So it's a good place to buy high tech goods. Well, it's the best place for outfitting your ship and buying new ships. Let's go to Ashling Duval. Imperial Slaves Ban, 10% increase in high value goods, security level raised, greater production consumption, high value goods. So, if you want to sell high value goods, Ashling Duval is your answer. 10% increased. Zemina Torval. Imperial slavery is legalized and imperial slavery price reduced by 10%. So the Minotaurval is the best place to buy imperial slaves. Imperial ships available in all shipyards. Double production consumption of mine materials. 
10% reduction in price of mine materials, meaning here is a good place also to buy palladium, gold and stuff like that. It's not good because usually you want to trade slaves and back palladium, but with 10% discount palladium you will not be able to sell at the same place where you can buy slaves with 10% discount, but still. You still will have to fly and check the actual prices and if slaves are in supply or in demand. This actually is important. You should know that if you want to buy slaves cheap, very cheap, like 13.6 or 700, the Minotaur well is your best friend. Denton Patrius. Imperial slaves legalized 10% price reduction on Imperial ships in shipyards. If the bug will be fixed, uh, Lee Yongru bug, that 15% outfitting price is applied to ships as well. This would be the second best place to buy ships, but for now go to Lee Yongru and buy all ships there. As there you can buy any ship with 15% discount, but here only Imperial ships. And Empire, 30% increase consumption production for high value goods, 5% increase in price paid for high value goods. And what's interesting is, you also can buy slaves very cheap at Denton Patrigas, around 14.2 thousand. Still, the Minotaur well is the best place, but Denton Patrias also works fine. Archon Delane. Control systems. All weapons, slaves, narcotics and medicines are legal. Huge increase in consumption production for narcotics and weapons, blah blah blah. Black markets are opened, if not already present. This is kinda important, because each, as you see, every affiliated faction that owns station will give you black markets paid 10% more for illegal goods. And this is very important because you can get 10% discount on Imperial Slaves at Zimina Torval or Denton Patrius. And all you need to do is find closest Archon Delane controlled system or exploited system, it doesn't matter really. And all you need to do is just make sure the Imperial Slaves are illegal there. And black market is automatically opened anyway, so all you need to do is just see if Imperial Slaves are illegal. And you can earn over 5000 profit per ton, because you get 10% discount at Zimina Torval and 10% more at black market. So it almost might feel like rare good trading. And last one is Pernavantal, which actually is very similar to Archon Delane. Only difference black markets are closed at control systems, but all exploited systems black markets pay an extra 10%. So if at Archon Delane you only care about slaves, imperial slaves to be illegal, at Pernav Antal you care only that its exploited system is black market and imperial slaves are illegal. The problem is that Pernav Antal is pretty close to Archon Delane. If they would be scattered around, it would be easier to find great trade routes. But for now, if you want a shorter jump range trade route, you will have to pledge to the Minotaurval and expand it closer to Archon Delane or Burnav Antal. It takes some time, but still 5000 profit per ton is very interesting and profitable. Now let me show you how it actually looks in real life, I mean, on map. The Minotaur well, let's take any control system, view it on map. An example here is one. I actually visited several of the Minotaur well and Denton Patria systems and it's easy to find the source for slaves. And if you are lazy or you lack shortcuts, remember there are web pages that will help you greatly. Like Elite Trading Tool and similar. Let's see in the Minotaurval. Actually, you can go to Power Play tab as you see, Power Play under the view. And you can select any. In example, you want to find Pernav Antal, show headquarters. But in this case, you should ignore all controlled systems because there are no black markets. Exploited per Navantel, go to System Map. Click on Station, you can see right away Allegiance. 
you can see if there is a black market, this one hasn't. And you can see what's illegal, blah blah blah, huge list, including imperial slaves. Let's check if this has no, no black market. So let's go back and find another one. Exploited Brunavanta, let's check system map again. No black market, so let's go back and see if there's another one. LP doesn't sound promising. Actually, you see, black market is under facilities, it's independent, but we don't care in this case. And Imperial Slaves Band. So you can sell here slaves with 10% increased black market profit. So use this information to find trade routes. You will have a lot of different 10% or 5% increase or reduction in prices. And if you need ships, go to Li Yongru. And also if you need any module, go there. 15% discount is impressive. But if you want to have even more, you should pledge and work with merits. But in my opinion, easiest way to find a trade route is go to the Minotaurval or Denton Patrias, buy Imperial Slaves and sell them at Archon Delane or Pernavantal Black Market. And what you also should know is that if faction that owns particular station is in civil war or in boom state, commodity prices and supply as well as demand might change. So use power play to your benefit.